Good day, guys. Spin here. Uh, it, uh, last time we did this one, so we used uh, curtain wall, and uh, we also used um, roof uh, with modified sub element, and also uh, I think this one is roof by face uh, using mass, I believe. So. Um, Today we are going to try a different, try a couple of different methods. Okay, so let's uh, let's start. So first, I'm going to. Uh, I'll just maybe um, show complete. Yeah, I'll just leave it here. So okay, so um, some uh, suggest um, we can probably use wall and the array. Um, yeah, I think we can. So let me quickly do it. So we can use more, um, and I'll just pick one. So, so what's? Hang on, let me check what this one is. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. So I'll just use this more and just draw a little segment, um, something like this, and then we can select this wall. Um, hang on, maybe rotate it by ninety degree, or maybe forty five degree. Okay, so we can array AR. So, or you can go modify and array this one, array and a space and f pick a point. So the center point of this array, and then I just click on the here and I rotate at by a degree. So, for example, our degree, our uh, array it three degree and uh, 300, 360 degree minus 3 equals 120 so I'm going to use, uh, type in 120 so this will give us so 120 uh, um, little more so these are the, so you can see on, uh, each in each one so that's uh, um, that's uh, 400 mil wall so and then if you wanted to change the height you can go edit uh, edit it and so actually we don't re we don't need to because we are going to use attach top and attach base so okay so these are the um, wall and we can I'll just use um, the wall roof by uh, edit a sub element as well so I'll just draw something like this okay just um, okay so and then I'll remove uh, define slope so I'll make it a flat roof so maybe I'll just uh, uh, raise it by 10 meter and we can use edit a uh, sub edit sub, sub element and then to make it curved roof okay so something like this and okay so just this oh sorry this one go down ah go down okay so yeah so and then we can um, you you can't you can't use the, you can't select the group and to attach you need to tab select one and sa select all and attach top attach the roof so you 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 can so you can see uh, usually uh, group um, you have to and they, they, they must be uh, the same but uh, for this one you can have different height even they are still in the group okay so now if I uh, if I just uh, demolish this in the same face so you can see this is the result okay so H ah oh, sorry but not HR so change um, change this to show wall to bring back the roof and maybe we can just copy this one down and even uh, maybe uh, let me just rotate it by 90 degree for example and okay maybe 45 degree and then we can tab tab select SA select all attach base roof okay so now we can demolish this one and we change the face to show uh, complete and then we have this one Okay, so these are just uh, normal walls, and also uh, and um, if you want to change the change the number or change the spacing, um, 
I'm not quite sure. So 120, uh, if I, I don't think I can type in a number larger than 120, I'll, I'll try. 150, nope, I, I'll tell you. So because the maximum is uh, one, uh, 360, I think probably we can. Let me just try again. Select, select, click, click on uh, here. I want to click on this line. And then let's try this one. Uh, append to end. And now, um, which which one should I click? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, maybe try. I'll try this angle. Uh, try 300. Okay. So it looks like now we have 120, but uh, 120 uh, instance, but only covers only covers 300 degrees so which means we can if i type we can type more i believe 130 oh hang on not the don't not not don't look look right so let's try again maybe maybe we should do this so i'll just click on this uh pen just tick this box again and then now type 150 okay so we tell you I want uh, the maximum is now 143 good 143 and yeah so of course we need to adjust this so we just need to change the face to show all and then select one of them tab oh sorry tab select SA and attach top pick this roof attach top Oh, sorry attach base pick this roof and okay and that's it great so this is how we can adjust the number of um, this uh, uh, radio radio group uh, array okay so this is another method so you can use so and I'm going to uh, show you another one okay so another one so we can also use um, mass. So let's do it using mass. So M mass. Oh, where's my mass here? So first, let's create a mass in uh, in model in place, and I'm going to use a circle. Okay, so something like this, and select it, create a form. So this will give us a solid, right? And then we can um, create curve um, by I think we can use um, let me think um, yeah maybe we can just uh, cut cut use some profile to cut curve okay let's try this um, I'm going to so this is my yeah so solid I let let's try this I'll draw some reference line so oops sorry wrong one so spline through points one two three one two three one two three and change them to reference line and, and also oh hell uh, it can't be these three because we can only create a surface um, we need a solid void okay so void that there's uh, that uh, we, we need a volume <laughs> so maybe let's try this I will just copy these three points and copy down a little bit so now we can create uh, we can connect this okay so uh, we can we create all these closed uh, reference lines so we can create a, a, a volume void so let's check this and create a void okay so now we can se se let's select this point go up and it will start to cut this cut this solid right so let, let's uh, have, let's have a play with these points so and uh, maybe this go up a little bit maybe this point go up a little bit to 
so you can see it starts to become a little bit interest, interesting now and also just make sure so see that's a little bit of solid there it's not cutting through so maybe we can just uh, move this to that direction to make sure it's all it's all cut uh, by this void so i think this is good and then we can cut the top use the same maybe we can just copy these so go to right copy them up and then we just need to maybe i'll also rotate it a little bit so to make it more uh, interesting now first i want to set work plan onto a level and then i we can s rotate it on that work plan so maybe uh, 90 roughly 90 degree and then we can create another void so and that's it so we can still adjust the point um, yeah I think that's all good so now that's it and we have the this what we need is only this uh, this this surface okay so now we can finish this mass and with this mass we can do whatever we, we, we like so we can do um, curtain system pick this surface pick this surface and create system and then we just need to go uh, edit type and oh sorry wrong one uh, select this curtain system so maybe this one yeah so okay edit type um, I'm not sure grid 1 or grid 2 maybe I'll I'll turn off the grid too and see what happens. Apply. Great, good. And then for the curtain panel, so instead of now, choose, I'm going to use this empty system pan, pa, panel that uh, we used last time, I think, for the first method. And then uh, in uh, grid one, so we just use uh, pick a, a molium. Okay, so Control C, Control V. And also I want to check this box. Okay, okay. And okay, so the spacing. So currently uh, we're using fixed number. So maybe I'll just change this one to maximum spacing, uh, maybe 400. And yeah, okay. Um, ah, we have some issue because there are too many using this spacing. So maximum is 200. So maybe I'll change. Or even how about this? I change the fix the number, and I'll just manually type in two hundred. So this is the maximum num number we can get for a curtain system. So maximum um, mullion number, and this is it. So um, oh, looks like we have some extra top. Maybe you can just. Uh, I'll see if I can delete them on ping first and to see if I can delete. Um, yeah, so we can delete them. The same, we can select them on ping, delete. Okay, and then this is it. So you can see we can we can also turn off the, the mass. We can just demolish the mass to make it temporary and this is what we have a curtain system similar to the first one which is a curtain wall and also this one this is uh, this one's wall okay so i i believe there's more uh, method we can use so um oh, actually let me show all i'll just copy this mass okay so and let me just show complete so we can with this mass um we can i believe edit and let me just try to pick this edge pick this uh see if i can use divided surface so uh check u and spacing maybe i'll just type in 100 <laughs> so okay so and you can see now with this we can also use pattern based family or adaptive family as well so that's another two method we can use so yeah so i think that's it um yeah um yeah of, of course these are very simple geometries so it's just mullion but if you want to have you know interesting uh, uh 
geometry such as uh, something like this. It's uh, no longer just uh, a, 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 a fixed uh, a profile. So you can you can you can you can use this method with a pattern based family or adaptive family. So it's more flexible. And yeah, I think this uh, this this is it. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.